hello and welcome to this video in this video we will start constructing our graph uh, source code so without further ado let's get started now our first structure is a vertex structure so i have a member int data now this is something we don't need but c does not allow you to construct empty structures so you can have a car data or you can simply say car name so that we can name the nodes a b c d and so on the second uh, structure is an edge which is a boolean which indicates that whether an edge exists between two nodes or, or vertices or not so the third structure is the graph a graph consists of max nodes number of vertices an edge between uh, two-dimensional array of those many nodes okay so one of the functions is a join functions which take three arguments better make it graph g star so would be star g and it takes two inputs that is the two vertices and marks the edge as true that is the join so you use join to join two nodes then you have remove which will take a graph pointer and will make the edge false that is it will remove the edge now the adjacent function will return whether there exists an edge between two nodes or not so this is these are the code functions and code structures we need to define a graph you can set max nodes to some bigger value also but note that uh, it is 100 so it will become 10,000 if you increase just one zero it will become one million so the edges array will expand very quickly so possibly we can dynamically allocate this on heap right now it uh, the graph g declaration is not there so the structure won't come in picture but make sure that you don't allocate this edges on stack otherwise it will cause problem that's from the implementation side so one of the important things we have to understand is called transitive closure so what is a transitive closure so suppose a graph we are describing only with this adjacency matrix edges matrix okay and there is no data associated with graph there is no weight okay if you consider the expression edges i k dot adg the boolean variable which we have and edges jk dot adg so it will be true if the both sides of this ampersand ampersand or the logical and gate is true this will imply that there is an edge from i to k and there is an edge from j to k so what this means is that there is a path from vertex uh, i to k and another j to k that is there is a length there is a path of length 2 from i to j passing through k that's what it means Similarly, if we have something like edges i0, edges 0j, edges i1, edges 1j, and so on up to edges i max nodes minus 1 and then edges max nodes minus 1j. So this is true only if there is a path between ij through vertex 0 or vertex 1 or to node max nodes minus 1. I use the word node and vertex interchangeably. So effectively, we are saying that if this is true, then there is a path of length 2 between i and j. And we can denote this by adj2 ij. Now, if you look at this expression, then you realize from matrix multiplication that this is a product of adj with itself. Okay. In the matrix multiplication, if you replace the multiplication with the conjunction that is the logical and and plus with the disjunction that is logical or, then this will be 
the uh, matrix multiplication of ADJ with itself. Okay, so ADJ2 is called the Boolean product of ADJ with itself. In this case, when I'm talking about ADJ, that is this matrix, edges matrix. Now consider a graph. Let me show you the graph. It's best that I open this in browser so that I can zoom. So suppose there's a graph like this. A has two outgoing nodes to C and D. B has one to C. C has two outgoing to D and E. D has uh, outgoing and incoming to from E to and from E. Okay, so this is the graph we are considering. So if you write its adjacency matrix, it would be like this. The first one, okay, not the second one. So there is a path from A to C and D. There is a path from B to C. There is a path from C to D and E. There is a path from D to E, and there is a path from E to D. Now, if you multiply this matrix with itself, you'll get A D J two. And if you multiply further, you'll get A D J three. And if you multiply further, you'll get A D J four. And if you or A D J A D J two A D J three, then you will get this. Now note that if you further multiply after A D J four, you will keep on getting the repetition of this matrix, these two matrices. Okay, so this matrix path, this one, is called the transitive closure of the matrix A D J. So our first objective would be to establish this matrix A D J, the compute this transitive closure. That is the first. So uh, we will see the implementation of the transitive closure method in the next video. I will end this video here uh, and let this information sink into you. So think about how we can program the transitive closure matrix that is given uh, an adjacency matrix. How can we compute all this? Okay. So thanks a lot for watching the video. Feel free to subscribe the channel, like the video and share it and make use of the comment box to ask questions or give suggestions or criticism. Uh, please be disrespectful to uh, please be respectful to other uh, community members. Don't use dis disrespectful language. That's all I will ask of you. Thanks a lot for watching. Happy programming.